Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano is a 1958 cable piano that has been top to bottom, very thoroughly refurbished. Um, generally, uh, my, my advice is uh, the bigger the better, but uh, for, for people that are, are either um, have, have a little bit tighter budget or a little um, have, have restrictions on, on space, um, that's why we go to the extreme lengths to, to refurbish pianos like this. So very, very few technicians, um, really even nationwide, are willing to, um, willing to spend the kind of time and effort that we put into this. In fact, I don't know that I've ever seen it, ever. Um, so just finished up literally, it came out of the shop and, and into the spot, literally like within an hour. And, and I was just reviewing the, the main technician, Joseph, that, that worked on this piano, just kind of going over everything, reviewing, uh, nitpicking his work, making sure that everything was absolutely perfect, which by the way, um, I do, and there are several other technicians that have worked on it along the way. Um, and uh, so it's nitpicked, it's in absolutely uh, perfect condition. So, <clears throat> okay, what, what we have done to this, total, total man hours, um, Joseph probably put about, oh, 50 hours into it, and then the refinishing was probably another, oh, another few days, so, you know, good, I don't know, um, somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe 60, 70 hours into this piano, which, which again, I have to emphasize, very, very few technicians are willing to, willing to do this. And, and I think it really bears out, not only how it sounds, but, but how it plays. It plays very consistently, very smooth. And then furthermore, beyond that, how it's going to hold up over the years. Everything is tightened. We've done a lot of repinning. We've done um, a lot of cleaning, a lot of other kind of preemptive work to take care of any issues that, that might arise. Of course, you know, uh, there, there is the definite possibility that we could have missed something, but, but we have done everything in our power to ensure that this piano, top to bottom, every moving part, every mechanism in there, every system is going to function for not just years, but literally decades more in, in top service, top condition. I would even wager to say that this piano is functioning better now and sounds even better now. Of course, there's no way to prove this, so it's an easy statement for me to say. But um, even better now than it, than it did originally in, in 1958. I guess, I guess the reason that I feel comfortable in saying that is, um, one, because these pianos generally hold up very well, and, and two, because I can't imagine that even in the factory they they put the, um, the attention to, to detail and the regulation that, that we put into it. So, what all consisted in those, um, I, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 hours, whatever it was, um, it, uh, we, we've finished it with, with black lacquer, um, and, uh, and I, I think it looks very, very nice. Um, the, uh, the keys are properly level, everything is very thoroughly clean, so keys came out, action came out, pedals out, everything out, everything thoroughly clean, clean back behind, behind here. Um, action fully tightened, hammers reshaped, action fully lubricated, and every, every nitpicky detail of, of regulation, regulation is a process where we make the touch exactly what it's supposed to be, so you can play your your pianissimos, very, very pianissimo, and your fortes, very forte, and, and of course every, every uh, infinite um, dynamic in between. So all of that has been, has been done meticulously. So, so what regulation consists of is everything from leveling the keys to doing the dip on the keys, which is the distance that you can depress the key, to the blow distance, which is the distance from the hammer to the string, to the let-off distance. Why don't we look at that? I can show you, rather uh, than using my fingers and arms as, as a demonstration. So what you should see is the hammer get close to the string 
gets to within an eighth of an inch of the string right there and then it pulls away. And you should be able to go up and down and every single note all the way up the scale gets to within an eighth of an inch of the string and pulls away. I guarantee that not only will you find any used piano that you'll find uh, on KSL or really anywhere, um, not only will it be absolutely filthy, but these hammers will be flattened. These they'll be loose. They'll need they'll need repinning. Um, they'll need the action will be, need to be lubricated. But this is a all of that. You know you can you can probably get get some a good feel for it just by looking at it. But here's here's one that 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 might be kind of an insider's um, tip for looking at the piano. I am absolutely certain that you won't be able to go all the way up the scale on, a, on any other piano except pianos that have been properly regulated, which is a tiny minority of them out there in the pool. Um, that if you do what I'm doing right now, play very, very softly to the point where it doesn't play, it's not going to get to within an eighth of an inch of the string and pull away just like that. And that's just one of a, approximately a dozen or so different specs. Um, and there's also the checking distance, which which is the distance when the when the ham when you're holding the key down, the distance that the hammer is held in check, ready to repeat again. The the damper timing, which is um, well, there's there's the, the damper, all of the dampers when you engage the sustain pedal, that's a really easy one to look at for somebody that isn't, you know, doing this like me every all day, every day. Engage the damper pedal, come come have another look at this. When you engage the damper pedal as slowly as you possibly can, do the dampers all lift at exactly the same time? Absolutely precisely. And then how about when I play a note, do you see how that, that damper starts to lift um, at just the right time, not too early, not too late? Um, that's damper timing, and then and then there's there's lots more, um, lots more little specs that are that are supposed to be just right, and I am I have the utmost confidence that it isn't abundantly clear in this video that everything is absolutely perfect on this piano. So um, enough talky, let's play. Kind of hard to see in this light, um, but uh, cosmetically, cosmetically, this piano, especially for 1958, cosmetically, this piano is in very, very good condition. Um, and with the with the black lacquer, um, I think it, I think it's very fashionable. Um, it, it would look really, really nice in in a living room. So come check it out, please. 1497 South State Street in Orem. Um, my cell is 801-830-0011. If you're buying out of state um, and you can't come see it in person, you can absolutely purchase this piano with confidence that everything that, that I'm saying um, is properly represented. You won't be disappointed when you, when you receive this piano if you're buying sight unseen. And, uh, um, and shipping out of state is, uh, is actually much more economical than a lot of people uh, might expect. Thanks for watching.